update, we are halfway through the book. I'm enjoying it. because it's the way that I woke up early just to finish this book. Last night I only had like 50 more pages but I was so tired so I just went to sleep. I woke up this morning and I finished it and I swear if I was reading it last night I would have cried because my heart melted at the last 50 pages. But first of all let's finish reviewing book number one. Book number one I don't know if it was just me, but I rated this book 3 out of 5 stars. Honestly, I think it's because I went in there with like an expectation. This is why I don't like to read what the book is about before I read it. Because I like to go in surprised and then like just be happy at the end or just disappointed. I don't know. But yeah, I gave this book 3 out of 5 stars. I thought it was a good book. I just didn't like love it so basically the book is about an arranged marriage that was set up by Vivian the main character in this book her dad um, she basically sets her up with Dante which is the male main character in this book and they kind of like are trying to figure out if they have fallen in love with each other if they didn't if it's just because of the arranged marriage and then there's so much in between that you like find out so if you do want to read this book i'm gonna leave it at that because i think you should go into this pretty blind it is pretty spicy so just putting that out there oh, i'm just so sad because i thought this book was gonna be like amazing i literally read the whole twisted series just so i could get to the kings of sin series and i thought this one was going to be like the best one so that's why i was kind of let down but if maybe if you go into this blind you'll like it better i'm planning on reading all three because the fourth one is coming out next month so i went into this one thinking like oh i'm probably not gonna like it so i don't know if that's why i liked it so much but i gave this book a four to five stars i just finished it this morning i could have finished this last night I read this so fast. I read this in a day and a half and I read this one basically in a day. I could have finished it last night. <sighs> I could have finished it last night. Literally woke up 6 a.m. to finish reading this. And I don't know why, but this one just like melted my heart. I thought they were so cute. The couple in this was like a couple that was in close proximity they were i wouldn't say they were enemies to lovers but they were like there was like tension there the whole time but the way that they just like come together just melted my heart he's like british and has an accent and everything and i don't know if it was just the way i was imagining it in my head but i just love the two main characters in this book because he's like this billionaire businessman ceo and she's just like your local bartender and they're not supposed to fall in love but they do i'm gonna go ahead and stretch this book out so i can start reading it 
and I will keep you posted. Three out of five. Four out of five. Five out of five. This one was my favorite. It's a heart-wrenching story. Literally grabs onto your heartstrings from the very first chapter. If you want to read a book about a couple falling apart but fighting for reasons to stay together, this is your book. He's choosing everything over his wife, so you need to read this book. Um, I heard you could read them as standalones, which I think would be fine if you did, but it's just more fun reading it when you know all the other characters and what's happening in their lives, so I definitely recommend starting the series if you haven't already. I'm excited to read the next one, I believe it's King of Sloth, which comes out I think almost at the end of next month, so I'll be back to review that book whenever it comes out. But definitely recommend, like I said, woke up early to finish this one. Read this one in like one sitting, two sittings. As you can see, I haven't even gotten ready for the day because I've been reading this. Now I'm probably going to read like a thriller or something because I've been reading a lot of romance. But thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in my next one.